Kenneth, is everything ready? It's all set, Professor. Okay, then. Roll camera. <clears throat> if one were to photograph the human body from an elevated plane, several distinct shadows would begin appearing. These are what's known as mind shadows. Within these shadows, there exists a universe far beyond the mortal plane. There is a type of energy called chi, which blows like a savage wind through that universe. The name that I have given to that wind is Bajra. This machine is the mandala. It was designed to extend one's mind shadows, thus rendering the Vajra infinite. It's done, Ken. Our work is finished. The mandala. Tanya, how do you feel? It's really very exciting, Gwen. It doesn't make you feel tired at all. The Vajra will soon be manifest within a life force of an as yet unknown power. Born to the continual creation and destruction of the universe. Today, the birth of that child has come. I give you Genocyber. Today, after nine days of heated debate, the armed summit for the developed nations has drawn to an end. The summit began amidst fears that recent troubles in Southeast Asia were coming to a head. These troubles, we are told, are now over, and all armies of their respective countries are to be disbanded. Furthermore, a statement was issued declaring that it is the intention of the summit to unite all existing military forces, creating one unified allied force. Fucking times do I have to explain it to you, huh? Huh? I think he's retarded. Why don't you talk a bit slow? Fuck off. I've already had enough. I really can't explain how upset I am at the way this relationship has gone. So let me show you! Looks like Rat has caught him at a really bad time. It's always a bad time when it comes to his cash. <laughs> I must have been fucking crazy to let you in on this. Now get lost, punk! <laughs> Fucking asswipe! Hey, why don't you go get some pussy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. In light of recent arms talks, our president has taken the initiative, calling for unilateral disarmament. There are talks of the new Allied force being stationed in Earth orbit. Yes. Do you think it's realistic to hope for the nations of the world to lay down their arms in favor of a single united force? Well, it's very difficult to say. I mean, there are many private research groups who before now were supervised by government. However, 
Under the new Allied force, they'd be freelance, so to speak. Was the person killed an assistant professor at the Quran Institute? Chief, if so, was this attack work-related? Are you linking this incident with any other recent events at all? No comment. I've waited years for this. A chance to get close to Quran. Take the Quran group and their subsidiaries. Their research programs have been producing know-how that labels them a possible military threat. And we can't control or legislate know-how. That's some place they got a Quran. Thank you for that information. It would seem that disarmament, unilaterally, is still in the distant future. Heaven. God. War. Country. Excellent. This boy has shown a lot of promise. I want you to try him out on level three. Sir, right away. What do you want now? Professor, there's a policeman in reception to see you. He says his name is Davy and that you'll see him at short notice. Okay, fine. Show him up to my room and I'll be there as soon as I can. Inspector, I think it'd be a complete waste of time to start bringing up the past. After all, it was 13 years ago. Well, Professor, as a matter of fact, it's been 14 years since that Morgan incident. Incident? You're mistaken. It was an accident. I was there. I was a young man at the time. Safety precautions weren't quite so important then. It's too bad mm. it happened. That's not the reason I mentioned Morgan. The point is, if you're continuing his work, I can see another disaster looming. This time I'll stop it. I'm not sure that I quite understand, Inspector, why you're here at all. You should have already finished your investigation into Ho Lung's death. Who said anything about Ho Lung? I just came to say hello. But you'll be seeing me again. Until then, you better watch your step. Just leave me alone! Huh? Oh! 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 oh. What are you doing, Diana? Uh. Uh. You fool. What did you think you'd gain coming here and interfering? I think it's time you left, Inspector Davy. Is that the collar that Elaine lost? Isn't it rather important for her to have it all the time? It helps control her Vajra, doesn't it? Losing Elaine's really bad news. Her absence makes life difficult. Without Elaine, my research is dead in the water. You know that, don't you? Yes. Diana, I have to find Elaine. It's very important to me. In order to find her quickly, I'm going to need your help. But father, I don't understand. Do you know what would happen if of Elaine and you got out, we'd be finished. Yes, Father. It's just... I saved your worthless life. All these years I protected you and still you won't listen to me. I'm sorry. I'll help you to find her. Oh, I'm sorry for arguing. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even exist. Maybe you should think about that occasionally. Elaine reads her name. She's gonna be our new job. What the fuck are we anyhow, janitors? Every time one of these guys messes up, they call us in to clear up. 
Stop complaining. She's supposed to have some pretty oh. amazing parts, so be careful. Oh, have we ever let you down, huh? Right, we gotta bring the girl back alive anyway. That's what Tokyo says. At the very least, she has to be able to breathe, even if she does get a bit fucked up. Elaine is very calm and contented right now. I don't think I've ever seen her so stable. Very well. This will probably be our best chance to get her back. Father, what is it I'm here for? Am I just around for when Elaine gets out of hand and no one else can put her back in line? I Why? have made this machine for you, Diana. Now you are the only one who can control Elaine's Vajra. It's simple, Diana. You are here for Elaine. But Elaine doesn't know how to use her Vajra. If we upset her, she could lose control completely. And that puts both of us in great danger, Father. Diana, you're going to have to change your attitude. I need both of you. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We found this tape at Holong's apartment. It was in his VCR. I think it's a recording of the security cameras on the outside walls of the Koran Institute. Can't see why the fuck he'd want his own copy for, though. I mean, it makes for a pretty fucking awful movie. It takes all kinds, Hold it son. There. I'll see if I can enhance the picture. I think this girl could become somewhat of a sensitive subject, Anna Koran. She looks just like. It can't be. No way. This looks more like a home movie than a security camera. Doesn't really figure, but go and see if he's got anything else like this at home. Sir, this girl's the center of something awful, I'm sure. We've got to act quickly. Right. I'll make arrangements to bring her in. What the fuck? Jesus! Good evening, and welcome to Newsnight. Our main story, a young girl believed to have been kidnapped has turned up on a video belonging to a man who was recently murdered. One, two, three, four, five. Great work. Let me hear if you find out more. <laughs> sure. I haven't seen Shorty around. He okay? No. He was a waste of time, so I dumped him. He always seemed like a trier, though. Gotta give him that. Had to give him everything. Motherfucker never lifted a finger. He'll be bawling about it somewhere, man. I could have sworn I saw him earlier on today. Looks like he's got himself a girlfriend. Pretty little thing. Older than him as well. You're kidding. Nope. <laughs> you boys want to take a leaf out of that kid's book. <laughs> Rat, I can see you took my advice. Nice piece of ass, Rat. I'm impressed. Why are you with this loser? You're with the wrong man if you're looking for a good time. Fuck off. What's your name, sweetheart? 
Come on, honey, you can tell me your name. Say something, bitch. Girl's ugly as fuck, man. Yeah. The boss said she was pretty. Maybe he'll find her something to do. But in the meantime... <laughs> on your feet, shithead! <laughs> Watch this, kid. You might learn a thing or two. Hey, do you reckon he's got the hots for her? I'll check! Small! <laughs> really, really, really small! <laughs> now, let me see here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe, are you a virgin? <laughs> what the fuck are you, man? <laughs> what the hell? <hair? laughs> Elaine, it's time to go home now. Hold back, Elaine. Hold back your Vajra. Let me protect you. Come home, please. Elaine! Where is she? I couldn't hold her up long enough. She dodged my shockwaves and broke through into another dimension. I lost her. What? Don't worry. She's got a boy from some gang with her. She'll be easy to find, but not so easy to catch. Told ya. Piece of cake. Good. Now let's move. What are you gonna do with the boy? One of ours? You never know with these Quran research guys. These fucking freaks escape all the time. Katsu, what's wrong? Help me! Please God, help me! There's bugs all over coming for me! Stop it, please! Just stop it! Cool it! What bugs? Snap the fuck out of the catch you, I don't see no bugs! They're eating my brain! <laughs> I go after her. Why are you protecting her from me? No, Diana. It's you that I'm protecting. Elaine's Vajra has exceeded my wildest dreams. If you go up against her now, you'll be killed. What do you want me to do then? I want you to use your Vajra to enter her consciousness. You can control her from there, and it'll be safer for everyone. What's wrong? I won't. Diana! It's not safer for everyone. It's safer for you. Elaine wouldn't hurt me because she's not angry. She's frightened. She's frightened of you. Just do as you're told. After all, Diana, you and Elaine were born to the same fate. And with 
either of you missing or being uncooperative. My research may never be complete. This is an inconvenience I could very well do without. Remember, Diana, both you and Elaine will become normal mortals once my research is over. Diana. I understand, Father. Doesn't she seem weird? I mean, she's not right. Who? The girl? Something I can't make out. I don't know what it is. Just strange. How the hell should I know if she's weird or not? You brought her in. And that other detective's been watching over her all night. It was 14 years ago. I discovered that Dr. Gwen Morgan was developing a strategic superweapon. He and his staff had researched psychic energy as a replacement for nuclear fusion. Once finished, this weapon system would alter forever the balance of power throughout the world. Their experiments were really successful, until for some unknown reason, his center exploded. Dr. Morgan and his wife, Tanya, both died in the explosion, and both the weapon and the research records disappeared. Five years later, the man who was Dr. Morgan's assistant, Kenneth Reed, became head of the Kuran Institute of Science. Reed had new cash. As well as that, he also had the support of Ajiro Kuran, the man in charge there, they say Reed set the whole thing up. So this is Morgan's child, then? That's right. Now, this should interest you. It's an old photograph, but you should... Tanya Morgan. Yep, she was pregnant at the time. You gotta be fucking kidding. She didn't die in the explosion. She survived and was able to stay alive long enough to give birth. So you mean to tell me that that girl is... The icing on the cake, as far as you're concerned. A month or so after our last meeting, my informant suffered a massive heart attack. He never reached the hospital, even though he was picked up by an ambulance. It turns out that after the birth, Tanya Morgan had kept the child hidden. And the woman Kenneth Reed has with him is her sister. I could use this girl to get to Kenneth and Ojuro Kuron. Finally, I can stop this madness. Go home, go home now. Elaine, you know that we're better off living at the Kuran building? Besides, Father is very worried about you. That man is not our father. What are you saying, Elaine? I'm saying he doesn't care about us. We'll both die if we go back. You're acting like a spoiled brat, Elaine. You know that isn't true. Diana, you are going to die! I'm going to die? I'm not coming back with you, Diana! What do you mean, I'm gonna die? No, no, not now! <laughs> Fine. I won't bother with questions anymore. I've had enough of running around trying to save you from getting hurt. I hate you, Elaine. Diana, Diana, stop it! <laughs> I think it's time I put you out of my misery. <laughs> <laughs> that 
At last it has begun. I'm gonna tear you in two. <laughs> down, please, young lady. You're coming with us. And if you don't, Wakanyama's gonna fuck up your little friend. He'll enjoy it. He's got convictions for this sort of thing. Hurry up, you fools! Get Diana and put her into the mandala before it's too late! What? What? Who the hell are you? Don't try anything funny, Professor. You could get yourself hurt. And then you wouldn't be able to answer our questions. And that really would be a shame. Yes, I'm Kenneth Reed. And who are you? Do you work for Kuron? For now, at least, you can think of us as representatives. You've been working without authority. And it all looks like it's gotten out of hand. Needless to say, the Kuron group are anxious to know what's happened. You're not all that important to us now, but Elaine is. So we're taking her back to Tokyo with us, Professor. I'm afraid that you can't do that. I can do what the fuck I want. She's dead. It's unfortunate, really. Diana was supposed to be able to control Elaine's Vashra. She couldn't. There was a fight. Elaine died. You're blaming this fucking mess on a kid? Your explanation's a bit too vague for my liking. Start again, and tell me why this happened. Diana was meant to bring Elaine back after she escaped. Since Diana was supposed to be able to control Elaine's Vajra, this was the natural thing to do. But Elaine lost control of the Vajra and it grew. 
Its powers grew beyond my wildest dreams. Diana was completely overwhelmed by its strength. She killed Elaine because she could no longer control her. You see, it's all because of the Vajra. Both Elaine and Diana were born amidst a storm of Vajra energy and complications with her births left Diana unable to use her muscles and Elaine with the nervous system of an animal. Elaine was different though. As she grew, I discovered that she had many mind shadows. Diana found out. She read her mind while she was sleeping. This is what I think has caused it. She's too strong. Jesus, I've never heard anything so insane. After that, for a while at least, Diana could keep Elaine in control for me. But as Elaine grew, she developed a will of her own and was more effective when using her Vajra. With this discovery in mind, I created a new mandala. This machine was in line with Dr. Morgan's early theories. He'd only expected one child. But when the second was born, he hit upon the idea of fusing their powers. This would, of course, produce far stronger Vajra energy, far greater than he had originally hoped to create. Our resources were stretched at the time, so we needed some help with our funding, and that's why I brought you in. It looks like you were wrong, doesn't it? Yep, big mistake, Professor, but we're here to help you put it right. Ow! What should we do with this fucking brain box? We'll take him and Diana back to Tokyo with us. He's got some explaining to do as to why Elaine vanished from the face of the Earth. Diana. Why? Why did you have to kill Elaine? Why did you interfere? Look what's happened. You've ruined me. You've ruined everything. Why, Diana? Why couldn't you just do as you were told? Why didn't you listen to me? Is that? You can hear it, can't you? I think it's a boy, Tanya. No, it's a girl. Who's that? I feel like I know them. As if I'd met them. They're so close to me. So close. Kenneth, what's going on? Why are these people here? Father? In order to continue our research, we need more money. Kenneth! You brought in Kuran, you idiot! Who's inside me? What's happening? What in the name of God's going on here? I can't believe it! Kenneth wasn't our father. You should have said something, Elaine. I never understood what my purpose was, so I just did whatever Kenneth told me to do. So, I... I was only born to be a part of you. Why didn't they tell me? What now? What am I supposed to do now that I know my life isn't my own? Kenneth is all that I know. He's the one who loves me. I, Your body is dead I now, know. Elaine. Oh. So stay out of mine. Let me keep my mind. What are you showing me this for? What's that boy got to do with it?
stay out of this. Leave me alone. I know that you want my mind, but you can't have it. Just stay away from me. I can't stand to be with you anymore. I want you to leave me in peace. You're already dead. I'm not going to be a vehicle for you, Elaine. This is my time now, Elaine. Do you understand that? I want to live. <laughs> Control tower. It looks like there's been a hell of an explosion down there. Is it safe to land? I don't know. You better carry on circling until we can tell you for sure. Roger. Keep me informed. This is unbelievable. It's out of control. People are losing their minds down here, and I don't blame them. What in the fuck's going on? I ain't never seen anything like this in my life. We'll never put this out.
I'm here, Elaine. Sorry, but I have to go now, Elaine. It was fun, though, wasn't it? Hmm? I've never had a friend like you before. You're the best. But we can't be together forever. I really miss you. You are my best friend. Goodbye, Elaine. It's okay, Diana. I'm still here. We're alive. 